some rum. Did you go for a lift? Yeah, that'll be lovely. Mr. Hurley's removed as much of the cancer as possible. Uh, the disease is still there, but hopefully you'll be a little more comfortable now. Okay? Excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't get your name. Kat. Yours? Rob. Pleased to meet you, Rob. I've written up the post-op fluids on Winfred Bourne. Aren't you the clever boy? Daddy's got to go now. Bye. Hey, boss. Rob? Are you going to come around the post stops with me? Sorted. What are we done for the day? We're done. Yeah. You can keep your job. Fancy a drink? My shout? I would do, but if anything's OK, I might just sneak off home. Thanks for today, Rob. No problem. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I'm just leaving. Tell Toby I'll read him a story. The new register sorted them. For once they've sent me a bloke who's in a complete tosser. Tim Sibley, a &E Senior SHO, Mr Whitman. Senior SHO, isn't that an oxymoron? And a tautology, Senior Senior Health Officer. Mm. I tried bleeping your SHO, but um, I got no response. We don't have an SHO. She's supposed to be arriving from Spain, but she can't get registered unless she's got a job and the hospital won't give her a job unless she's registered. So, what are you doing, Tom? Tim, I'm uh, clocking her in. This is Winifred Ball. About me, she's Hurley's. Well, we are on take today. Yes, I know we're on take, Polly, but look at her, she's deader than Elvis. I'm not having her peg it under me. Uh, not literally under me, obviously. Oh. Watch, uh, there's a patient of yours, Mrs. Bourne. She's here. Tony, do you mind? She's the one with the advanced CA cervix that I ducked out of. I'll leave her with you, is that right? No, it's not all right. Protocol is you admit her and hand it back to me in the morning. You're the one who chose to operate on her. She's all yours, mate. Rob, you okay to close? Sure, boss, no problem. Thank you. How are you getting on with Roger? Fine, thanks. Good. Sorry about this, Mr. Hurley. That's okay. Well, chest pulmonary secondary possible pneumonia, though it's hard to tell. Um, can you fetch me a glass of water, please? Water? Please. Uh, okay. Thanks. Oh. Oh. Winifred? Oh. Uh, Mr. Hurley, do you remember me? Very good. We're going to make you as comfortable as possible, okay? I'm just going to take your mask off. It's OK. It's OK. There you go. Very good. Oh, well done. I'm just going to put your mask back on. There you go. OK. Thanks. The daughter's complaining. They've already been here eight hours. When did I operate on her? October the 1st. Bad luck. 
What's the problem? Post-operative mortality. If she lives for 30 days, she won't appear in the figures. Tim, is it Tim? Yes. Do you check if there's a hospice bed available, please? Of course, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Doctor, I'm yes. Mr. Bourne's daughter. Yes, of course. Mr. Hurley. I'll take you, Polly, thanks. All right, all right. All right. Um, Polly, sorry. could you do this one with me? Last condom. <sighs> He never told me it had come off till we was finished. He was, you know, fishing around for it for ages. And couldn't your boyfriend find it? My boyfriend found it. it was what we was worried about. If you will <laughs> insist on having casual sex, then the least thing you can do is ensure that the condom is fitted securely. You're at risk from unwanted pregnancy. Tell me what you can see. diseases. I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Ty's not still a virgin, eh? She's pissed herself. Is that so? You don't expect me to change the bed, do you? I wouldn't stop you. Uh, 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 uh. Donna? Offering to play Debbie McGee to my Paul Daniels? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Hurley, but Mr. I Mr. Mean... Hurley? Uh-oh. What have I done? I don't think it's appropriate for Mrs. Bourne to be on the ward. Well, it's just so she can be transferred to the hospice. Which hospice? Uh, Newlands. There's 60 patients in this hospital that the bed manager thinks has a place at Newlands. Newlands isn't built yet. I thought I could get her in somewhere tonight. There wasn't time to sort it out. She'll move out in the morning. Well, as I said, Roger, I don't think it's appropriate that she's in an acute gynae bed. Donna. You were the one that wanted me to help her in the first place. I don't think it's fair to share in the credit when things go right. And to blame me when things go wrong. <laughs> Boost the driver. I have done. Well, boost it again. Ovarian salvage is the cornerstone of my work. I believe some unilocular ovarian cysts can be managed expectantly. This strategy is appropriate for women with a cyst size of less than five centimeters. Cysts eight centimeters or less have a very low risk of malignancy and often resolve spontaneously. This is the fundamental objective of my work, to give the woman her best chance of a normal reproductive life. Thank you. Boss, I need to talk to you about this CA cervix one. What's there to talk about? Get her through the night. Evening, you. Good evening. Good evening. Actually, can you just give me a minute? Rob. Yeah. If you need me to come down, I'll come down. No, no, no. It's fine. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. How are you? She's already had 24 hours of diamond. Give her some more. Not me. Give us some more. Or I will. She shouldn't even have been here. No, she shouldn't. She wasn't even that old. Well, she's dead now. Don't get much older than that. How is she? Sorted. Rob, I'm sorry. These lectures, they don't come up very often. Thanks for covering. 